Luxembourg, a teeny tiny country at the heart of Europe. Known for being a super wealthy country with some high salaries. What is not so known about Luxembourg is that it has a high tax rate. The tax rate of the highest income bracket is 42% with an extra 3.78% for an unemployment surcharge. And it is still pretty high for moderate incomes. According to Expatica, an income of €45,897 would have a tax rate of around 38%. That is even higher than the UK at that rate which only taxes 20% of that same salary. Also corporate taxes aren't so low either. They come at around 28.69% which is higher than the UK which is 19% and America's which is 21%. That is not the lowest which is 17%. However, by most measurements it is considered a tax haven. Other countries considered to be tax havens, such as Cyprus, have pretty high tax rates, especially income tax rates. However Mongolia just has a flat tax rate of 10%. This is for income tax, corporate tax and VAT. Despite this low taxation, it is not usually considered to be a tax haven. It was once part of the EU tax haven blacklist but that was the only indication that Mongolia was ever a tax haven, it has since been removed from that list in 2018. Despite multiple other countries having lower tax rates than typical tax rates, they are not considered tax havens. Other low tax countries that are not considered tax havens are Bulgaria, Georgia, and Albania. Firstly, we have to define what a tax haven is. There isn't a universal definition of what a tax haven is. However, according to the OECD IMF 1998-2018 definition, there are three main criteria. No or nominal tax on the relevant income. Lack of effective exchange of information and lack of transparency. If a jurisdiction meets two out of the three criteria, it would be considered a tax haven. With regards to no or nominal taxes, Mongolia definitely meets this criteria. Despite on the surface that Luxembourg has high rates of taxation, the truth is a lot more complicated. According to Investopedia, many German banks take advantage of Luxembourg tax code since dividends of many companies are not taxed. In addition, long-term capital gains on stocks are tax-exempt if a majority share is 10% or more is not held. Although high income taxes would affect the average worker, they are not enough to deter big companies and high net worth offshore investors since these companies and individuals aren't really affected by income taxes since most of their wealth is based on assets. I am not going to go deep into Luxembourg tax law but as long as you know the loopholes and are armed with a lawyer, you could potentially save a lot of tax dollars. According to the Tax Justice Network, Luxembourg is ranked number 5 in the 2022 Financial Secrecy Index. Mongolia is not even on the list. Therefore, this makes Luxembourg more attractive as a tax haven status. There are a few other criteria that I would like to add. These are not official criteria but factors which would influence why some countries and jurisdictions are tax havens or not. Firstly there needs to be a strong legal framework. According to the World Justice Project, Luxembourg ranks number 8 in their rule of law index. While Mongolia isn't so bad with a rank of 61, it is still much lower than Luxembourg and other more traditional tax havens such as Switzerland. In addition Luxembourg has the financial infrastructure to deal with large amounts of investments, money and assets being placed in the country. Luxembourg has experience hosting phantom companies with no employees and has dealt with celebrities, billionaires and old wealth families. Mongolia does not have much experience with such clients and although very much possible, it might be a bit tricky for the super rich to set up these special offshore accounts and shell companies in Mongolia. In Luxembourg, you would find major companies place their offices from Microsoft and Amazon to KPMG. There are many other non-tax related reasons why the companies would base their operations in Luxembourg. The first reason is that it is at the heart of Western Europe and has easy access to major economies such as France and Germany. It is also easy to attract talent in Luxembourg due to its EU membership. It is a similar story for other tax havens. Singapore has visa procedures that make it easy for expats to be based there. 
Even though Switzerland isn't part of the EU, it is still part of the Schengen area therefore it benefits from attracting talent due to freedom of movement. With regards to Mongolia, it is landlocked and isolated. The closest financial hub to Mongolia's capital and financial hub Ulaanbaatar is Beijing and that is more than 1,000 kilometers away. In addition, there are only 3.27 million people in Mongolia and Mongolia doesn't have any freedom of movement agreements with other countries meaning the talent pool big companies can access is quite small. The same can be said with other low-tax nations such as Botswana, Albania, and Moldova. Although I am most likely speculating at this point, I believe there is another unofficial factor. That reason would be facilities for rich people. A lot of rich people like to go to luxury shopping, eating at Michelin star restaurants, riding sports cars, fine wines etc. Typical tax havens such as Luxembourg and Monaco are known for their luxury lifestyle and for their options for rich people activities. Although Mongolia is known to have plenty of epic stuff to do like the Nadam festival, horse archery, delicious meat and dairy restaurants just to name a few, unfortunately it is likely that not a huge amount of the global elite are attracted to these activities. Although I am certain that you could do all those luxurious activities in Mongolia, the country is not well known for this. In addition, if a wealthy person were to qualify to be a tax resident of Mongolia and pay only 10% tax, they would have to stay in Mongolia for 183 days per year. This might cause issues for jet-setting elites who want to jump across the globe. The main thing I would want to conclude is that just because a country has low taxes it doesn't automatically make it a tax haven. There are other factors at play that make a jurisdiction that makes it attractive to be a tax haven. However the low taxes of Mongolia and Bulgaria could be attractive to other individuals. I might make another video about this, so stay tuned.